Divide 468 grams of rice into three heaps containing the quantities in the ratio 1 by 6 is to 1 by 8 is to 1 by 12. So what does the question state? They've given a total quantity of rice and they've given the ratio in which it has to be divided. But if you look at the ratio, it is given in the fractional form. So what are we supposed to do whenever a ratio is given in a fractional form? we have to convert it into the simplest form. Once we get the ratio in the simplest form, then we need to divide the total quantity as per the ratio. So let's start with the statement. Total quantity of rice is equal to 468 grams. And what is the given ratio? 1 by 6 is to 1 by 8 is to 1 by 12. This is a fractional form of ratio. To convert it into the simplest form, first we need to calculate the LCM of the denominator 6, 8 and 12. So let's calculate the LCM. So what's our LCM? LCM is equal to 2 into 3 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 24. So we have calculated the LCM which is equal to 24. Now we need to take the first part of the ratio multiply with the LCM. Second part of the ratio multiply with the LCM. Third part of the ratio multiply with the LCM. Later we do the necessary cancellations. 6 4s are 24. 8 3s are 24. 12, 12 2s are 24. So, what is the ratio? 4 is to 3 is to 2. So, this is the ratio in which the total quantity of rice needs to be divided. So, once we have calculated the ratio, the next step, we, what we generally do is sum of ratios. 4 plus 3 plus 2, which is equal to 9. To find the quantity of first heap, Take the first ratio 4, divide it with the sum of ratio 9 into, what is the total quantity of rice? 468 grams. Most of the time, the numbers will get cancelled straight away. So, 9 ones are 9, 9 fives are 45, remainder 1, so 18, 9 twos are 18. So, what is 52 into 4? 208 grams. So, this is the quantity of rice in the first heap. Now, let's calculate it calculate the second heap. In second heap, the ratio is 3 divided by total quantity, uh, total ratio which is 9 into 468. So, the cancellation is again going to be the same. 9 ones are 9, fives are four, 9 fives are 45, 9 twos are 18. So, what is 52 into 3? 52 into 3 is 156 grams. To calculate the third heap, take the ratio corresponding to the third heap, that is 2, divided by the sum of ratio 9 into total quantity of rice, 468. So now you do the calculation, it's the same way, 52, it is 104 grams. Check whether your answer is correct. Sum up these three heaps quantity and then see if it works out to the total quantity of rice given in the question. So, your answer is correct. Write the answer step. So, as I had mentioned, whenever total quantity is given and ratio is given, first check if the ratio is in which form. If it is in fractional form, then you have to convert it into simplest form. And then take the sum of ratios, divide each ratio with the sum of ratio and then multiply it with the total quantity of rice to find each and every share. Okay. Divide rupees 715 among A, B and C in such a way that B gets 3 times as much as A gets and C gets half of as much as B gets. Tricky question? Not really, it's very simple. The ratio is not given directly. We need to frame the ratio and clues corresponding 
to the ratio is given in the question. For example, let us assume A gets 2. Okay, so if A gets 2, B gets 3 times as much as A. So B will get 2 into 3, so it is 6. And C gets half as much as B gets 6. So half of 6, so equal to 3. This is what is given in the question. This is just for your understanding. Given total amount is equal to rupees 715. Okay. Now the ratio is not given. So let's assume A's share to be X. Okay. Let A's share be equal to X. As per the question they say B gets 3 times as much as A. So if A is getting X, B will get 3 times as much as A. So 3 into X. So B's share is 3X. C gets half of as much as B gets. So what is B share? 3X. So half of this. So we divide by 2. So what's the ratio now? X is to 3X is to 3x by 2. So this is A, B and C. Now this is a fractional form of ratio. In case you don't have a denominator and you're getting confused, you can write it as by 1 because any number divided by 1 is a number itself. So now what's the LCM? LCM is equal to 2 because 1 and 2. So LCM is equal to 2. Now take each of the ratios. Okay like converting fractional form into a simplest form. So x by 1 into 2, 3x by 1 into 2 is 2, 3x by 2 into 2. This 2 and this 2 can be cancelled. So let's calculate the ratio. 2x is to 2 into 3 is 6x is to 3x. So this is our ratio. Now the next step what do we do? Sum of ratios. So what is the sum of ratio equal to 2x plus 6x plus 3x which is equal to 11x. Now we equate this 11x with the total share. What is the total share? 715 correct? Let's calculate the value of the variable x. So 11x is equal to 715. x is equal to 715 divided by 11. 11 6 are 66. You have remainder 5. So 11 5 are 55. So once we have calculated x value, we have to substitute this value in the above ratio to calculate a, b and c's share. A's share equal to 2x right so 2 into 65 which is equal to rupees 130 now let's calculate b's share so 6 into 65 which is equal to rupees 390 c's share equal to take the ratio corresponding to c which is 3x so 3 into 65 which is equal to rupees 195 So, answer is correct. So, we have divided it as per the required ratio. So, final answer step is. So, whenever the ratio is not given directly, for such sums, definitely it is a lot more easier to assume the unknown value to be x. I hope the sum is clear. Divide rupees 760 among a, B and C such that A gets 5 by 6 of what B gets and the ratio between the shares of B and C is 3 is to 4. So if you look at the question carefully, the ratio of B and C is given but ratio of A is not given. Instead, they have given a clue stating A gets 5 by 6 of what B gets. So based on this clue, we need to frame the ratio A is to B is to C. And then we need to calculate individually the shares for A, B and C. So let's start with the statement. Ratio of B and C is equal to 3 is to 4. We don't know the ratio of A. But the clue that's mentioned is A gets 5 by 6 of 
what B gets. What's ratio of A? Ratio of A is equal to 5 by 6 of what B gets. What is the share that B gets? 3. So 5 by 6 into 3. The fractional form that is the ratio for A is given as 5 by 6 of what B gets. But that's not the actual ratio that is the clue. 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6. So what is the share that A gets? 5 by 2. Now the ratio of A, B and C will be 5 by 2 is to 3 is to 4. Now look at the ratio. 1 is in a fractional form. Ratio is not expressed in the simplest form. So without that we cannot proceed with the sum. So first let us convert this fractional form into simplest form. Whenever denominators are not given, just write it divide by 1 because any number divided by 1 is a number itself. So what is the LCM? LCM is equal to 2. So take the first fraction 5 by 2, multiply with the LCM 2 is 2. Second fraction is 3 by 1 into 2 is 2. Third fraction is 4 by 1 into 2. So what do we get? You can cancel this 2, right? So 5 is to 6 is to 8. So what is the ratio of A is to B is to C? The ratio of A is to B is to C is 5 is to 6 is to 8. We have to equate this ratio to the total share. What is the total share? 760 rupees. Correct? And then find the unknown variable value and then you can substitute. So you can do it either by X method or we can do directly using sum of ratio method. So if you're going to use sum of ratio method, then find the sum of ratio. Sum of ratio is equal to 5 plus 6 plus 8, which is 11 plus 8, which is equal to 19. Now let's take the individual share, multiply with the total amount to calculate the corresponding value. Now that you have calculated the sum of ratio, let's calculate the individual share. A's share will be equal to, what's A's ratio? 5. And what's the sum of ratio? 19. 5 divided by 19 into 760. And 19 fours are is 76 and the 0 we have to write. So 5 into 40 is equal to rupees 2. Now let's calculate B's share. So what's the B's ratio? It is 6, right? So 6 divided by the sum of ratio which is 19 into the total amount is 760. Told you the cancellation is going to be the same. So 40 and 6 into 40 is equal to rupees 240. Now let's calculate C's share. What's C's ratio? 8. So 8 divided by the sum of ratio which is 19 into 760. So the cancellation again 40 times and what is 8 into 40 rupees 320. How do you check your answer is right? Sum up all the share 760 which is the total amount right? So your answer is correct. A's share is equal to rupees 200, B's share is equal to rupees 240, C's share is equal to rupees 320. So once again, whenever you have a part ratio and a clue, we need to ensure that the ratio is framed completely. Once the ratio is framed, we need to follow the same steps. I hope the sum is clear. Feel free to post your comment and queries in the comment section will certainly try and respond. Remember, learning never exhausts the mind. Keep learning. If you like my videos, please do like, share and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.